Um, I'm just going to just say thanks, a uh, huge thanks to Elaine and Yanis for, for bringing us here. Uh, it's, it's just an absolute honor that, that we did this. I mean, I have to say, it was really, really a pleasure. And uh, also the people of Cyprus for, for uh, bringing us. Um, also, we wanted to thank a few people who helped put the installation together, George, Ariadne, and Maria, who uh, gave us a fantastic tour today of the city, and we really appreciate that, and uh, Theseus as well. So lots of thanks for everybody for making this possible. I hope you all come to the exhibition. It's opening afterwards, and we'll see you there. I'm going to turn it over to my colleague and friend, Oliver, and then I'll be back to talk about some things a little later on. OK? Hello. Yeah, I, I would like to start a bit uh, about how this project is the political economy stupid uh, started. Um, actually, it was, uh, I believe, in the beginning of 2010 that I was uh, in New York, and uh, I got an invitation by the director of the Austrian Cultural Forum uh, to curate, or actually to co-curate an exhibition there, because they have this uh, concept that they always ask an Austrian artist or curator to curate exhibitions together with an, an US-American uh, counterpart. And uh, when I received this invitation, then it was uh, uh, very clear for me, actually in the same moment that, that I received the invitation, that this exhibition should somehow deal with the financial and economic crisis that took its beginning in this city in, in New York uh, with the collapse of the uh, Lehman Brothers. And uh, of course, I immediately also thought uh, about my friend uh, Gregory that we uh, should do this project uh, together and I was very happy that he accepted uh, this invitation to work on this uh, together with me. Uh, it took a while that we managed to uh, realize the first exhibition uh, had been finally opened in uh, January uh, 2012 uh, and we had a, a smaller preview exhibition uh, in Vienna. And uh, already while we had the exhibition in New York, I think we received uh, a, a, possi a, a possibility to show the exhibition or a different version of the exhibition of the Center for Contemporary Art in Thessaloniki. Uh, and we worked there together with Areti, and also Areti, uh, who is there, will then talk a bit about this exhibition. So this already showed a bit the, the range that we started more or less in the uh, center of the world to the, the collapse of the stock exchanges, of the stock markets, uh, this entire crisis uh, started. And uh, then we had exhibitions like Greece, but also later in Serbia, in Croatia, uh, or now in Cyprus, uh, in countries that were really severely affected by the outcome of this uh, crisis. Uh, and the idea of the exhibition, that was not an idea we had from the very beginning, but it also happened through the possibilities to show this uh, exhibition in other cities, uh, was that we would uh, uh, invite additional artists from uh, the local region, from these countries, uh, anytime we try to it or also in order to give a more uh, uh, specific uh, context uh, to our work. And as the uh, crisis continued, as we both considered this to be a structural crisis of capitalism and not something that would be over after two or three years, because this is something we, we work quite often. So for example, we also showed the exhibition in, in Finland, uh, a country that is not that much affected. Uh, by the crisis, and uh, there I heard, for example, well, I guess now you will stop to travel around with the exhibition since the crisis seems to be over. Uh, and already at that point it was quite clear for for many people that it's really a structural crisis of capitalism that will last for many, many years. And, uh, yeah, maybe the title? Talk to you, not sure about the title. So, you, you may or may not know that uh, when um, Bill Clinton ran for office for president, he had a slogan which was called, it's the political economy, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the economy, stupid. And this was his slogan which helped him win the election in the United States. Then the philosopher Slavoj Zizek did a, a detournement, you might say, a little spin on that, and he said, it's the political economy, stupid. He wrote a wonderful essay about it, which is actually in the book 
which do we happen to have a copy of the book? Uh, we'll have one. We'll have to about the uh, exhibition, um, and we've included it in the book. So the idea being that uh, this is where politics and economics actually converge, and it's of course in a moment of crisis like this that that begins to become much more clear. Other times you think of these things as completely separate, and I think we are really focusing on artists who are often very sensitive to those kinds of, um, let's say, gaps, you know, they sort of fill in those spaces, and they began to look exactly at that space between the visual, how things present themselves, what, how they narrate themselves, and something that you would normally consider to be outside the realm of art, which is the, which is the economy. Uh, more and more, that's not so, uh, so, not so much the case, and I'm going to actually talk a little bit about more recent projects that are going on in New York primarily, where artists are examining the economy, not part of our show a little later. But that's really the impetus behind uh, what we did here. Yeah. What we might maybe also add is that the uh, exhibition is highly video dominated, uh, which also helps, of course, uh, to travel around with the exhibition, but we usually also have some site specific uh, inclusions like uh, wall drawing. I just uh, went through some images before, you might have seen them in the background. Uh, or we have now uh, five local artists from Cyprus in the exhibition at the Need uh, Center. Uh, that uh, are also working with uh, other uh, uh, media than, than only video. And also the exhibition, as an exhibition, uh, changed a bit uh, in the years we have been working on, uh, while in the first years, I think, uh, it was something that some people who very often see exhibition could be considered something like a classical video installation where you have primarily dark spaces with projections or monitors. And in the last uh, three exhibitions, I think in Chicago, in Zagreb, and here now, in Limassol, uh, we decided to bring the, uh, the great graphic design of our publication about which Noah Douglas, uh, our graphic designer and artist who is also here with us, uh, will talk a bit uh, to bring this directly into the exhibition. And these graphs are based on uh, graphs of uh, uh, of the, the trading, the graphs of uh, the stock markets uh, and of Goldman Sachs, the live trading scheme, and uh, it's been transferred in the exhibition side. And in spaces, for example, like in Serbia, in Belgrade, in the Center for Cultural Decontamination, uh, where it was not possible to install the exhibition as we would have installed it uh, with better uh, financial um, possibilities. We did it, for example, like a video festival. So we had one large screen where all the films were presented in a kind of a loop in a film program that lasts uh, three or four hours or something like this. And uh, some smaller works were presented uh, on the walls. Uh, or uh, Noah's uh, big graphic you can see here in the background, for example. So which is not small, but uh, uh, not video-based. Um, yeah. So, I would propose we stop here. So, um, just, just to be clear, that Noel designed the book, which you'll, you'll be talking about later, and which you'll see. Um, and then we invited him to actually intervene into the imagery of the program. It wasn't in the initial program, but it's been uh, for about five installations now, including Chicago. But let me just mention uh, four, the four artists that, that are from uh, local artists that we've included. And I'm, I'm going to apologize. For that. First of all, I have to apologize for speaking only English, and second, for mispronouncing the names, which I'm sure I'll do, but... Uh, Carlos Riandos, Riandos, and if you're here, you can just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Please, yeah, okay, very good. Uh, Marios uh, Theophilinius, and again, apologies. Marios, not here, okay. Uh, Christopher, uh, Christel, ah, wonderful, okay. And Susanna Fialea, and I'm going Okay, thank you all for contributing to this ongoing project. Uh, thank you uh, for the introduction. Uh, the, the following presentations are going to be more focus and specific, so maybe you will be um, uh, having more uh, questions or comments to respond. But if there is any question for these introductory comments, we can have a few minutes. Yes. Uh, 
If not, just shout out. Uh, I have a question. Uh, is this exhibition constantly updated, or is just uh, contribute? Uh, people like if you go to Thessaloniki, you you use uh, people from Thessaloniki for for the installations, and then you or you will continue to have them uh, in the. It's accumulating like a snowball. So each time. Everyone comes along, and then we add new. We add new people to it, basically. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any, any other questions, comments? Well, I have a, I have a question. I mean, um, in, in initiating this project, I mean, did you see that among the reactions, you know, in many countries to this uh, so-called, uh, you know, global economic crisis, uh, were there also a lot of artistic reactions, and you thought? Okay, it's time to maybe theorize those and, 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 and maybe put it under an umbrella like a traveling exhibition, or, or did you see some kind of absence of artistic reactions to that, and you thought that let's initiate the momentum to get artistic expressions of that reaction? Um, I think from the beginning on there were various projects that somehow focused on the crisis, but we focused primarily on art projects that had a kind of an analytic approach at the, at the very, very critical about uh, also capitalism, and they did not see uh, something special in it, which, uh, which could uh, uh, be overcome with some adaptions within the structure. Uh, and uh, where, the, where it was also regarded kind of a structural crisis. And in addition, I think it was also important for the concept uh, to highlight some um, uh, possibilities for resistance or for some way of how to overcome it or for some perspectives. Uh, so it would have been a bit uh, um, too uh, uninteresting, at least for me, just to focus on an analysis without uh, potentials to also overcome it. Okay.